Hello and welcome back to more of Vertus at Fort Tudito in Europe Universalis 4 with me the Green Dragon. So good things are in theory happening. We are going to war with Venice. Well, theoretically we're at war with Savoy, but really we attacked so that we could get to Venice. We have already vassalized Romania in this war. And you know. We're making progress. We're down to 0% on actual Venezia, which means that someday, someday, we will be able to siege them. Now, what about Aquileia? Do you want out? All your stuff is actually... You know, I'll let Austria siege one thing. Well, actually, if Austria is... Austria does not have a core on that, so I don't really need to do anything to it if Austria occupies it. Right? And... Uh, come on... <sighs> Ten years of... You know what? No. Fuck you. You are not stealing my taxes. You are just not. Now, I'm willing to tolerate a lot of things in the name of stability. People stealing taxes, smuggling... The point is... I'm willing to tolerate all kinds of shit, but when you fuck with my income, you've crossed the line. Seriously, Austria, if you were to just win that, we could get Aquilea out of this war and you could focus on killing some of my other enemies. Like, really. You could do that. Honestly. So, 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 fall. Thank you. Okay, that's a play out of the war, I believe. We don't have the war goal, which is why... Interesting things, right? Yeah, just annul some treaties will grab a bit of prestige off of you. Okay, good. We don't control the war goal, hence a certain amount of... Actually, question. Now can't be fully annexed. Okay, fair enough. Now what I really want to do is break Venice's power because eventually we will need to conquer Venice somehow, right? So that being the case, it makes a certain amount of sense to, well, weaken them. Yeah, they would never accept vassalization, of course, unless we first weaken them a great, great deal. Right, that's that's gonna be handled by the army in Greece, by the local garrison forces. Yes, all the raid. Venezia is of course gonna take forever and a day. We're gonna have to siege them again. Because well, we will not be able to take their bloody capital in this war. Go figure. That's gonna be handled as well by the locals. Okay, great. Radical creature, that's wonderful. Exactly what we want. Sure, why not? And those provinces down in Provence are not gonna be particularly stable after all of that. Okay, so what do I want to do here? Do I want to move to out of there? Do I want to... Well, during wartime I could maintain a third army. It's just that my actual thingy will go down after the war is over. That's 20 war score plus another 63. Yes, they would be exactly fully annexable if I took all of this. So that's what I need to do in order for me to be able to conquer them come the next war. So we are just sitting across the lagoon and shooting cannons at yay, city of Venice. Sounds great. Do I want to raise some more cannon? I mean, if I build another, say, five, I could get another two siege bonus out of this. You know... Thank you. 
so that's 8, that would be a total of 12, and this would make a total of 15. Yes, screw it, we're going all out on the cannons. We're just gonna have all the cannons, we're gonna send them in and it's gonna be awesome. Okay, state marriage is hungry and at least subdued. Um, we're gonna want that back, thank you. Now, Lithuania. Wait, is there anyone who is... No. Okay, everyone's doing good on the succession stuff. And Austria is just waiting there until I see Venezia. Oh! Culture spread. Score, I suppose. At least we do have it blockaded, so it won't be too, too bad. Actually, by the time I build cannons, I won't really need them, but oh well. That's Galicia. Lost the Siege of Provence. Great. What are you offering me? Yes, they're willing to give up Crete, which is a positive thing, since Crete is a bad, bad thing to have just hanging on around our necks like that, but... You know what I really want? I want to make sure that I get rid of as many vessels as possible before I go to war with uh, yay Bologna in order to smash that I Because I will be picking up those two miners I will release as vassals, especially Ferrara. Well actually if I have Ferrara, I can walk all the way to Venice and Treviso from there, so that should be okay. Okay. Okay, that's 11. Get over there, all of you. You need to be there. This will cost me a fraction of money, because cannons are expensive. At least we don't have to pay for reinforcing them, because if they don't take a that will cost us a lot of money if we have those, you know, ideas. But, you know, still... Still, it is costing us a pretty penny. You can actually see the siege percentages going up as they march in there, which is, of course, very, very nice. Get in there, one more. Not before the next, no, in time, but some of them took attrition moving into enemy land, so we're gonna have to wait until the month. step in the right direction. So, Venice, would you like to surrender your... Okay. With the construction of a new cathedral comes the appointment of a new bishop. Okay. Okay, I could... Let's do that. Whatever. It's it's fine. Okay, Venezia has fallen in two years. Wow, that was a huge jump in Warsaw too. Okay, so you know my terms. You will return Crete and Friuli to various peoples. You will do that and you will also annul your treaties with France and St. John. Lucky as well actually. There, those are my terms. You may actually even keep your fleet as a generous god. There we go. Now, to sweep the land clean of this bullshit. Yeah, it should be fine. Now we ride. Now we ride. Actually, I could actually just make a white piece with them. I, I mean, I... I have what I wanted out of this war, right? I'm good, right? I'm really quite good. 
There's nothing I truly need here. Wow, we're actually losing money. Because of what the nobles complaining event. Yeah, that would suck. You know what I dream of? Having enough of actual stability and be gaining it quickly enough that I can afford to take the stability loss options on things. So that now, I might as well just sweep clean of some of this crap. And Saluso is the one. Sticked quite a ways against us, but but that's you know that's a thing which is easily fixable by just taking it and. Then I mean, I could try to take more... Oh, their capital got sieged. Well done, Genoa. Well done, you did good. here because of all the cannon because cannon is fun now Galicia how are you feeling about leaving this war not very okay how large oh you're not that small actually a decent sized place if I wanted a base on the Pacific oh sorry not the Pacific the Atlantic I would send my fleet out there with an army to siege something of yours and demand that in a peace deal instead, but I really have no interest in that direction. If I do go anywhere, it would be through the Arabian Peninsula to India. But mostly my interests are in the Mediterranean. Hell, there's plenty of time till we... It's time to really colonize, I suppose. Well, actually, no, it's right about this time we would start, but, you know, still. Hell, we should have a policy that would allow us to get some colonizing done, to get a colonist, we just can't actually explore. Speaking of actually, uh, colonial map mode. Uh, payment in full. Payment in full, cause money is always good. Right, we might just build some more markets or something, it would be great. Okay, three points of siege progress. I oh right, this is an Alps thing, so that's gonna take a while. Austria, just hold together, buddy. We're almost done. We're doing good. Just couldn't hold on to you, bastard. Fine, play that way. What do I care? I'm gonna be fine anyway. Do you hate me for separate peace? No, that's a different separate piece, I think, one from far further back. You know, with Austria, we have a decent alliance, I would say. Sure, we screw each other all the but most of we have a good working relationship. Oh, please tell me you're actually gonna walk into me. You're not? Oh, how sad. And there I thought you were gonna be stupid about it. This is... Yes, I'm totally happy to renew our marital ties. That's perfectly fine. That's in fact great. I approve. This is a good idea. Definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Oh, anyway. So... Let us see. Yeah, mostly we're just... Wait... Oh! Never mind. We just hit it. That's all I could ask for. But... Okay, so which 
What do I want you to know? Is that it Burton? I'm gonna leave the Venetian lines in place in case I need to go in at Venice through Savoy again. And I think that is relatively fine. Yes, there we go. Now, how are we doing on the... Ouch. And you are, of course, integrating it. The slow way. Why would it be? Anyway. Uh, keep four cannons. And you... Sorry. Good luck. Okay, good. Stay back from Sardinia. Uh, yes, but no. What about vassalization here? <laughs> no. Of course not. You. What do you think? You're actually relatively happy with me, to be honest. Let's improve relations. I mean, imperial maintenance too. Great. It's actually kind of awesome. At least it means we are getting awesome, right? Yay, Provencian nationalists. Marcel, yeah, 1.2 points of nationalism. How are we doing actually on that? It's burning down fine. Come fuck yourself, Palatinate. Like, seriously, they expect me to... Seriously? Just... Give you that, give that back after I went through the trouble of capturing it in the first place. I think not. Bosnia. Oh shit. With Austria. Bulgaria, Lithuania, France, and Austria. Bosnia, Austria, Palatinat, and Milan. So Palatinat or Milan. French alliance. Palatinat. So, do I have a CB on you? No, of course not, why would I? So, we need to be in another war together with Austria before we make that... Look at this shit. Just... Two years, I leave them alone. And they let everything go to shit. Is that siege? Okay, that's not siege at least. God damn it, Byzantium. What the fuck is this? Go through there first. I'm gonna smash the actual troops and then we'll see about... Well, we'll just leave it as is and let you siege it out on your own. Then it's your problem. Okay, we control actual... Well, we control on cone, right? This is Romania and then there's Ferrara. Pedro has a claim. Pedro also hates me. Why, though? Ah, the obvious. Okay, fair enough. And Trent... Doesn't really care that much. Okay, good. Stability gain. Wonderful. That's perfect. March in there and fix it. set of rebels fighting another. You're aligned with Georgia. Which means that Byzantium would get screwed if we went to war there. Not that we want to go to war just yet because of the situation we are currently in. Okay. Local trade thingy. Okay, everything in the Byzantium now gets a thingy. Which is pretty much everything I have. Well, concept no, no, that is. So, build all the things. Okay, that's more or less everything I can afford. Good. But that event did finance like another 20 marketplaces or so, I think. Oh no, actually it was more like 13 or 14. 
right, you decided not to coalition. Great. I congratulate you on your sanity. Okay, that stopped off. Where are we at? 147. What can I do to improve this further? Uh, they no longer have a gift with us and we could try to send them some subsidies as well. I would love to be able to... Yeah, I would love to be able to just um, recover my losses there, especially since they have the horse here, without having to actually go to war all of this. Alternatively, next war with Bal. Area, we can just give Byzantium something or Valachia something back, which will probably take them over the hump as well. How much can we give them? Much and far too much. Okay, let's give them far too much. That's good, that's a lot of money. In a year or two we should be able to revassal them, I think. Alright, losing money because of Are you kidding me? Their income has gone up, so now they want bigger gifts? Are you serious? That is bullshit! Come on! I mean, what the fuck? They wanted 75... That is not fair. That is really, really not fair. That is, in fact, total bullshit. I mean, what the fuck? I'm giving them money so they want even more? You greedy bitches! The fuck? I mean, I'm willing to subsidize your bullshit, sure, up to a point, but for frack's sake, you have to have some sense of proportion. Seriously, how greedy can you be? Also, would you accept vassalization at some point? I assume not. Ah, yes, you have subjects in your own name in Moldavia. Well, I can always remove those subjects in a war. Okay, so let's pick something that we can actually afford. Say, this, can we afford that? Yes, okay, so that should be good enough to... Okay. This should be good enough to have. Now go and fix that. So we could go on some crusades. Like, I don't know, these guys probably end up with war, war with Armenia. You know, once we regain some money, we really could go to war with one of these little guys like Karesi and uh, try and bring Hungary in and then declare war on Bulgaria as well. Get Bosnia, Sip well, Bosnia in as well deal with those two problem peoples. And that could go a ways. That could well go a ways. Now you, you, I assume, love me, right? You have to, surely. Speaking of, how's the vassal integration? Oh, have a few of those, huh? Provence does not like things. Salute so neither. Wait, uh, Pisa is almost done. Genoa will be done after that. That's... perfectly fine by me. Good, do that. And you just sit on Constantinople, I think. Yes, that should all be great. Apparently there's... Maltese Patriots, no less. Huh. That's interesting. Could I declare on you for a chance? No CBA. And Clemken has grown, which is 
actually bad for me. Uh, oh, yes, poison the bishop's lunch. Sure. That sounds great. Do not make waves, I do not approve. Why have I actually lost? No, I haven't. What the fuck? Okay, I think next year. Or maybe the year after that. But soon, in any case. Well, let's calculate this. We gain 7.6, lose 2, since we'll be able to top off the improved relations relatively easily. And we gain a little bit every month from the subsidies. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we have this. I really think we do. We're gonna maintain diplomat there for now. And that should all work out great, in fact. Next year we'll have Lachia back, and after that we can... Well, we can take the last Byzantium port from Bulgaria, and the two Valachian ones as well, to make them happier with us. Now we might even be willing to fight with Hungary, since they seem to be in a war with Lithuania and Brandenburg, which could hurt them a great deal. Well, we can always switch to being Lithuania's allies, really. We can certainly, certainly do that. Capture spices against England, no less. Huh, so they have spices, do they? Go figure. Okay, so, come next year. Yes, yes, yes. Come next year, we should be in a position to revassalize Wallachia. Peacefully. After France forced us to release them. Yes, we can renew our vassalization agreement. You may proceed to bend the knee, King Vlad II Basrab. Voila. What the fuck? Screw you, I'm gonna reload the autosave and try that again, cause that was bullshit. They declaring war like that, like seriously, what the fuck? Apparently they decided that they had enough money to wage a small war against Bulgaria, which could well bring Hungary in, in which I would gain nothing, which is bullshit that we will not tolerate. Now let's try this again, shall we? The game should be paused and we should be able to make the offer like immediately. Hopefully. If not, we will let them get screwed in war but prevent them from getting really screwed. Well, them getting stronger... Well, I would prefer to avoid the war. That's all I'm saying. Right? Yeah, really don't want that war. That war would be bad. Okay, so you feel like you have a thing. Come on. Son of a... God damn it, you evil assholes. So you're gonna purge the heresy, are you? Okay, fine, you pain in the ass bastards. Now, once I vassalize them, I'm taking that family off the throne. Fuck them. Alright then. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and next time we will plot our revenge. So, uh, see you then.